Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. This video is a bit different from the previous ones. The criteria for picking fashion trends to be sketched here has been, so far, things that I'd like to try myself. Not because I think I'd look great wearing them or because I think they're super comfortable, but just out of sheer curiosity, I'd love to see myself wearing something so different from my current reality and have a glimpse of what would I look like if I had lived in the past. Today, however, I'll talk about something that I never ever want to try myself, Venetian ceruse. Venetian ceruse was a 16th century cosmetic used as a skin whitener. Makeup and cosmetics were a polemic subject at the time, they were widely considered a sign of vanity and lack of modesty, but that didn't really stop people from wearing them. Venetian ceruse was considered the best available at the time, supposedly containing the best quality white lead sourced from Venice. Venetian ceruse was thought to have been used quite frequently by Queen Elizabeth I, but this is still a source of debate today. Some sources state that there isn't enough historical evidence to support that, while others defend that Elizabeth's death may have been caused by chronic lead poisoning and the combined use of other dangerous chemicals present in her cosmetics, such as mercury and arsenic. Regardless of the exact composition of Elizabeth's makeup, what we do know is that white lead was not only used in Phoenician ceruse, but also in several other 16th century cosmetics, and we also know that Queen Elizabeth I wore makeup. Elizabeth believed that beauty and strength were connected, and consequently that the success of her reign and of her nation had to be reflected on her appearance. For that purpose, she was determined to cover the scars she had received from her bout of smallpox in 1562. Venetian ceruse would often be applied together with red ochre rouge, like the one mentioned in my video about ancient Egyptian makeup, for a healthier look. There was also lead-based blush and lipstick that combined red pigments and sometimes even more harmful elements like mercury sulfide. An egg white glaze was finally applied, covering everything with a porcelain-like shine. The egg was probably the healthiest product used to achieve this makeup look. Many users of Venetian ceruse were aware of its potential to cause dangerous side effects, However, they continued to use the products regardless of that. It was not until the end of the 18th century that scientific studies officially concluded the severity of health problems caused by the presence of lead in cosmetic products. Venetian ceruse ate into the flesh and slowly poisoned anyone that used it, causing skin damage, hair loss, which may have contributed to keeping the high forehead fashionable, Ironically, since people wouldn't realize that their makeup was poisoning them and causing more damage to their skin, they'd apply even more lead foundation to cover up the scars, worsening their condition time after time. Lead poisoning has so many dangerous consequences that it would take a long time just to list them all, and it's actually deadly. This time I'm definitely not asking you if you'd like to try this trend, I'm just glad people figured out lead-based makeup was poisoned, so we can stay away from it. So, are there any other historical fashion trends, harmless or not, that you'd like to see in the following videos of this series? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching!